and welcome to this new update on my DIY remote control project. Uh, it's a little bit of time that I'm not posting a new uh, a video. I think the last one I uploaded uh, three months ago. This is because the, the was summer in a way and uh, also some vacation. Uh, and also because there were some aspects of my existing project and in particular on the PCB for the uh, channel strip uh, uh, for which I was not super happy and I was willing to make some fine tuning. Uh, uh, I've also worked, you will see it in a moment, into the chassis uh, of the uh, controller. This is something that I'll start uh, to uh, work on, I think, uh, uh, five or six uh, months ago that I have paused because I decided to concentrate more on the setup of the channel strip and then I restarted given that the, the channel, channel strip setup has been complete. Uh, but before to start reviewing these new elements, I kindly would like to ask you to subscribe on the channel if you want to support my work, to give a thumbs up to the video if you like it and to hit the bell uh, in order to stay tuned on the channel. And uh, let's go. Uh, so first of all, uh, the channel strip. This is the new channel strip that I've reworked. Uh, nothing has changed in terms of the circuit. The schematic is absolutely the same. What I've changed is uh, the PCB size and, or better, the PCB shape uh, and some arrangement in the component uh, over the PCB. Uh, the old uh, 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 setup, which, was, which is this one, uh, had a, an issue, had actually a couple of issues. The first one is the bay here where I was sitting uh, the uh, motorized fader. As you might notice, the size here uh, of this uh, uh, bay and in particular the length of this bay is not enough to cover the entire length of the uh, motorized fader. Uh, and that was, uh, 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 let's say, resulting in a, a little bit wear, look and feel, uh, but also it was causing the fact that the uh, meter bar LEDs here were not really centered with respect to the motorized fader. Uh, and finally, it was also causing that, given that the mm, motorized fader was ending more or less here, respect to the uh, PCB, uh, the uh, plastic cover and at the end the chassis itself was getting uh, definitely too longer uh, than what it was needed in a completely useless uh, way. Uh, so, uh, in the new PCB that you can see, sorry, that you can see here, what I've changed is that I have moved uh, the bay uh, uh, a little bit more uh, up uh, um, and in order to make more space here to sit the uh, motorized feather and now the motorized feather uh, uh, fit perfectly into the length of this part of the PCB. Uh, even the meter LEDs here are now centered as you can see respect the positioning of the motorized feather. Uh, another element which was really looking weird in the old design, you can see it here, the meter bar LEDs once again were not aligned with the status LEDs and this was really looking bad uh, uh, from an aesthetic perspective. Uh, I don't even know why I've, I've done it like this, it's strange. Uh, so uh, in the new design now they are aligned and I can tell you that they look uh, much better. Nothing has been changed as I was saying in the schematic and e even nothing has changed in the size. The size of the PCB is still 330 uh, millimeters and 330 millimeter was the uh, old one. As I said I just modified this part uh, rearranging a bit things. Uh, nothing has changed also in the upper part of the uh, PCB. And there you go with the new chassis. Uh, first of all, the new chassis is uh, uh, as a modular structure, uh, which means that every channel uh, has its own uh, uh, cradle, its own bay, uh, which is independent and at the same time chained uh, with the next one and joined uh, through some um, lateral joints plus some uh, screw uh, that blocks in a way uh, one bay to the other. Uh, I think we, we can see it easily here. There you go. These are the joints. These joints goes into these pockets here and here. And here you can see you have the screws uh, to block 
uh, uh, the the um, channel to the next one and even on a on a this is on a horizontal uh, side even on a vertical side the concept is substantially the same so there you go uh, uh, this is the upper part of the channel and again you have these two joints and again you have the uh, screw in order to block the upper part and the lower part of the channel um, why sorry why uh, this uh, modular structure uh, the, the modular structure is because uh, uh, this structure is the best uh, looking of, mm, to the future and what will be the final product that I'm, I have in mind since quite a while uh, and also uh, because I'm printing this uh, a chassis with uh, a desktop 3D printer and as every 3D printer my printer has a limitation in terms of the size of the parts so I am anyway uh, obliged to uh, cut uh, everything in smaller pieces. Every channel has exactly the same uh, shape and size but the last one which is smaller because the last one is for the uh, master and the master does not have the a meter bar as for uh, uh, the Mac universal control specification uh, every channel has uh, some hole here these holes uh, uh, are done in order to make cable management and to bring the cable from uh, the channel to this area in which I will put uh, all the buttons and the uh, custom board with the MCU this area will be exactly the same uh, shape of a channel uh, uh, simply it will be larger uh, because uh, it will be need it will be in need of more space but I will use exactly the same shape and exactly the same concept uh, uh, as you can see here there are these curve in uh, in every channel these are needed in order to uh, uh, slide out uh, uh, the uh, PCB and the plastic coverage on every PCB we can see it here this is the plastic coverage and inside here you can see the PCB component here and there you go and with the cover like this so uh, uh, the concept here is that every uh, PCB is once again independent and every PCB can be slide out uh, from its own bay uh, uh, one thing I think is interesting to see if we switch off here also here this is what I was uh, talking about before uh, uh, when I was showing the new uh, uh, channel PCB as you can see now this is the um, motorized feather and now the motorized feather is sitting in a, a consistent way respect to the PCB and again uh, now the uh, LEDs are sitting right in the middle or anyway uh, sort in the middle respect to the uh, sliding part of the uh, uh, motorized feather so that it looks good from an aesthetic perspective and finally this is the same uh, alignment as you can see between the meter bar and the uh, status LEDs so now let's see things in reality there you go in reality uh, the new uh, and the old uh, PCB this is the old one and this is the new one where you can see the bigger dimension here uh, for the motorized feather sitting where here is the small one I think that this is very visible now what I was talking about in terms of alignment of the uh, uh, LEDs here this is the meter bar these are the status LEDs and in the old one you can see the same thing this is the meter bar and this these are the uh, uh, status one which are as you can see pretty much uh, not in alignment with the uh, meter bar ones there you go with a strip mounted on the uh, on the on the cover and here you can see the old uh, PCB with its own bay so I mean with a rough design but this is the size 
This is the new one. The new PCB, as you can see, is much more rational and it's smaller, significantly smaller. You can see the other size. There you go. And there you go, the chassis printed and assembled. This is what we were seeing before. You can see the screws here to block, uh, let's say, the upper and lower side of the channel bay. And you see here the screws here, here and here to block each channel next to the other one. Here I have printed only four uh, channel uh, for uh, bay for channels and the master one. Of course, I need to print other four. Uh, the reason why you see in two colors is very simply because I finished the yellow and I move it to the white filament. Of course, uh, uh, in the final version, I will be probably uh, uh, printing uh, uh, everything in black. And here is the bay with the channel mounted in. There you go. Everything, as you can see, is sitting perfectly. And the bay and the chassis is very solid and stable. That's all. Uh, next, I will be working into the bay here of the chassis where I will put the, uh, uh, the um, custom board uh, with uh, buttons and with uh, uh, MCU. I have also to finish the design of the custom board and to make and to have it print and to have it produced by the PCP manufacturer. So I still have some work to do to finalize, uh, but I'm getting closer and closer. Thank you very much for your time and see you in the next video.